KV-20 FS-120 Vega was one of Sony's last North American Trinitron TV sets to hit the market. The TV features a 20-inch flat Trinitron CRT screen. The Vega's FD Trinitron is a technologically advanced tube that delivers a picture with uncompromising accuracy and outstanding image detail. The KV-20 FS120 was manufactured in Sony's Mexico facility and launched in 2004 with the MSRP price of $249.99. Let's take a closer look at the Sony Vega KV-20 FS120 television. All right, yes, the land of tubes and other things. Um, actually, it's in this gigantic u-haul box right here all right so yeah i was crazy enough to pack up this crt myself in this giant u-haul box it's like triple boxed um, i was gonna ship this but the shipping costs on the box once it got this big were so high for ground shipping it wound up costing more than the crt inside so i had to scrap that plan and uh well we're gonna have to open this and unbox it so i can show you the tv you know, it might have been a big mistake packing it like this and a huge waste of money for me. Uh, but there are worse things to happen. Like, heck, it could have been shipped and broke. we have got it double boxed. Uh, maybe even triple boxed almost. This is a double box right here. This is a double layer box. And then I think it's down in all this madness. And um, I had the pillow on the top there. I don't even think I like this packing. My goodness, look at all this. Oh, great. Well, joke's on me for putting all these packing peanuts in here. I'm going to have to get them all out. And the CRT is somewhere down in there. Okay, up in the top of this stuff, thankfully I've located our remote control. And that's good. And uh, if you have somebody pack stuff with packing peanuts, just throw it in a big bin like this. Get it in the side of the box. And that way you don't have to worry about making a mess. Ooh, all right, there's the TV. It's out. It's actually screen side down right there. And uh, this is what it looks like at the bottom of the box. And I'm actually glad this never shipped. I mean, I'm concerned that this probably would have had a chance to break, even though um, there was like a few pillows, some of this, just thick styrofoam around the bottom, pillows, and then it was set screen down, and then filled with the wrap and triple box, quadruple box, whatever that qualifies as. But you know, you know as well as I do that that would have still somehow ended up broken. Ooh, 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 ooh. all right. So out of the box, beyond all the bubble wrap, and out into the outdoors. We have this awesome Sony Vega. So this is the KV. 20 FS120. For inputs, we have RF, composite, and component video. And just have that amazing late model Sony look. Um, you've got the Vega logo up here for the tube, and then that 20 inch flat screen that is made by Sony. A nice logo down here. And if we look under this flap that does have Trinitron on it, we can open that up. And we do get some nice controls just from the front of the set here where we have TV, video, where we can switch our inputs and normal controls there. And we actually have menu access over here, headphone jack, and then a nice composite video input right here for video number two. This one does have a nice power button over here. And this is the infrared spot where you could send your uh, remote signals and also, there is a light that blinks on here, so if you have some kind of troubles, there are some troubleshooting tips that can be associated with those lights. Now, if we swing around to the side, you're really going to see how this 
curves back a long way, drops off right there on the design. This is easier to move around thanks to this lip. You do have a bit of a handle up top. Still a little awkward, but at least there's a handle right here. Or you can attempt to hold it right here at this corner, but this handle is probably your best bet. Well, there's some air vents here along the side. Lots of air flow through this set, which is nice. And so there's a good part to that design. You can, you can see through it straight how airflow would just help and cool this set passively. On the back side, we have the classic Sony logo here, extended out of the plastic. And again, this one is from November of 2004. It even says the BA6 chassis back here on the label, which is nice. It's the outside of the CRT. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. The first thing you should notice is this flat screen tube is made in Singapore. Here is our tube number. And then if we look up here, I have serviced this set, so it's been fully cleaned back in here. Here's our speaker and our other speaker for stereo audio. See how that's nicely shielded right there around that magnet? And it is made by Sony. 12 ohm, 10 watt speaker right here. Funny enough, Sony also made the speakers. And then we have our main board down here. This has been recapped. See all these new fresh capacitors down in here. It's been recapped in the power block and the deflection block. That's pretty much everything on this right hand side. And then on the other sides over there is, uh, this is all the audio and picture tuning stuff for the most part. Now this neck board was fully recapped and then solder was reflowed on this entire board. This yoke is very interesting. Uh, you'll notice it has an extra degaussing ring around it. And then here's the yoke. All this stuff's pretty standard. You know, you've got your purity and convergence rings right here. However, you do have two variable adjustment uh, pots right here. And these will help you fine tune your convergence. So you can actually spin these and you will have convergence uh, adjustments happen on the screen. Now this right here, I believe this is the velocity modulation hardware around the CRT gun in there. Anyway, that's a look inside the chassis and everything. Um, this is what the inputs look like as you test them. I'm going to go ahead now and try to do some convergence fine tuning up in the corners with some convergence strips. And we'll see how that looks after uh, we get that done, but this is what the inside of one of these sets looks like. I'm having fun with 240p video and the 240p test suite, and I want to show you one of the interesting features of this television, and it is the picture mode of the TV. Now, if you press this button, it will change the brightness and the colors. You have Vivid, which is very bright and overbloomed standard movie which is darkened uh, lowered brightness and contrast and pro and vivid again so you have some built-in almost color temperatures uh, slash settings here just scroll through them on the remote and see what be best fits the situation you're using the television for you can go into the menu and then actually fine-tune each one of these with picture controls and turn up the color brightness and actually modify it from there and it will all be saved into the menu for the next time you use the TV. Personally I like the movie mode best. It seems to tune down the colors more and not bloom the set and it allows for a much sharper image. All right, I wanted to come outside and finish talking about this uh, CRT set and tell you a little bit of the extra interesting things I found out about this TV. And as I do that, I'm going to put some footage over myself of um, this TV in action. Again, mostly in component video mode, just so you can see how great it looks compared to really the lower resolution inputs. And we can also talk about one of the downsides, obviously, of this uh, TV is that there's no support on this model for S-Video, it just has composite and component video. 
so there's no S video support. Now we'll tell you the interesting thing is, is if you find a 24 inch version of this TV, so the KV24 uh, FS120, then you can actually get S video support out of that version of it. Uh, some other interesting things, unfortunately this BA6 chassis is not modifiable right now for RGB video. So you cannot add an RGB MUX kit or any type of SCART or anything for RGB right now with this TV set. But thankfully it does have component video and maybe eventually in the future there'll be a new way of doing those RGB mods and we can add RGB to this set. Yeah, so that's it. This is again Sony's very last like smaller version of a CRT that came in that 20 inch format. And right after this, they jumped on to those Bravia LCDs, which you can still get to this day, uh, Bravia TVs. But it's kind of the end of the Trinitron. But there's a look at the Vega TV. Now, if I had to give this some kind of a, of a grade, I might give it a little bit better grade than you think. I might give it like a B plus to uh, almost A minus. I would give it better grades if it could get that RGB input and things like that. But basically, my opinion is it's a pretty darn good TV. It works great. Um, there is one little thing you, and I maybe could put this on the image screen, but um, apparently this one has a little bit of a shaky image. So that's a little bit of a downgrade on the picture quality. Uh, the shaky image only really shows up on 240p video and shows up when you get really close to the image and just kind of stare weirdly at it. If you sit back from the TV, it's hard to see the image jump at all and it really looks great if you use movies um, one of the other things I didn't show you yet was the remote control which I'll show you here as I talk about it uh, it's really easy to use it's got a cool shape to it a real hands-on hand friendly <laughs> remote control there so that's it that's the entire thing that's all I got to say about the Sony K KV20 FS120 Vega TV what do you think about this TV? Do you own one of these? Do you own the 24 inch one? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What do you think about this flat screen as it compares to a curved Trinitron screen? That's an interesting thought. Anyway, let me know what you think with a comment below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time with some more retro content.